Don't depend too much on anyone in this world because even your own shadow leaves you when you are in darkness. Some people have the disease of criticizing all the time. They forget the good about others and only mention their faults. They are like flies that avoid the good and pure places and land on the bad and wounds. This is because of the evil within the self and the spoiled nature. What really counts are good endings, not flawed beginnings. A calamity that makes you turn to Allah is better for you than a blessing which makes you forget the remembrance of Allah. If I remain silent and you remain silent, then who will teach the ignorant? What can my enemies do to me? My paradise is in my heart. It is with me wherever I go. To imprison me is to provide me with seclusion. To send me into exile is to send me away in the path of Allah and to kill me is to make me a martyr. The disease that knowledge brings is arrogance, and the disease that worship brings is showing off. Allah will support the just state even if it is led by unbelievers, but Allah will not support the oppressive state even if it is led by believers. Seek beneficial knowledge, because seeking it for the sake of Allah is a worship, and knowing it makes you more God-fearing, and searching for it is jihad. Teaching it to those who do not know is charity. Reviewing and learning it more is like tasbih. Through knowledge, Allah will be known and worshipped. Deeker remembrance of Allah is to the heart as water is to a fish. See what happens to a fish when it is taken out of water. The sincere hearts and the pious supplications are soldiers which can never be defeated. You should not look at what the person used to do, rather you should look at what kind of person they are today. The one who gets bogged down about people's pasts is just like Iblis who said to Allah, You created me from fire and you created him from clay. Make Tawbah not just for sins you've committed, but also for obligations you haven't fulfilled. It is strange that a person may find it easy to protect himself from eating haram, oppression and injustice, adultery, theft, drinking camera alcoholic drinks, and from unlawful looking. But it is hard for him to restrain the movement of his tongue. How often do we see people who are very cautious about falling into shameful deeds or injustice, but their tongue lashes against the living and the dead and they don't mind it. If you do good in secret, Allah will shower his good on you in public. When people help one another in sin and transgression, they finish by hating each other. How many of us would be able to overcome our desires and resist the temptation of sin? How many of us even lower our gaze when we look upon something that we are not supposed to. The real prisoner is the one whose heart has been kept away from remembering his Lord, and the real captive is the one who has been captivated by his whims and desires. Guidance is not attained except with knowledge and correct direction is not attained except with patience. When someone offends me, I think it's a gift from Allah God. He Allah is teaching me humility. Allah guards the justice-loving government, even if it is the government of non. 
Muslims and destroys the tyrant government, even if it is the government of Muslims. Everyone experiences bouts of jealousy, but the dignified person conceals it, while the vulgar one acts upon it. Whatever is not done by the permission of Allah will not happen, and what is not done for the sake of Allah will not benefit or remain. The highest degree of love is Tatayum, total enthrallment. The lowest degree is Alaka attachment. When the heart is attached to the beloved, then comes Sabaha infatuation. When the heart is poured out, then Garam passion. When love never leaves the heart, the Nashak ardent love, and finally Tatayum. Verily, I constantly renew my Islam until this very day, as up to now. I do not consider myself to have ever been a good Muslim. Contentment is the greatest door that one enters to Allah. It is the source of tranquility for the worshiper and paradise on earth. Whoever does not enter will not enter the paradise in the hereafter.